Yo, what's good, E-Legends? I hope you're doing dope. Today, we're going to touch up on this topic because see what I did there? Touch up, tough crowd. There are plenty of ways to do this with all these complex actions and in Photoshop and all that good stuff. I suck at Photoshop, so we're gonna do it in Lightroom. First thing you do is you open up Lightroom and then you get yourself a dope pick, even though it's just me, I look like trash. But anyway, so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna add one of my presets. Um, there you go, the truth, golden hour. That one's gonna look good right here. Next, zoom into the face that you wanna smooth out. God, that's a lot of Joseph, bro. Next, you click over here and you grab the brush tool. Adjust the size of the brush accordingly and click and start dragging, painting out. If you don't see anything popping up, just hit the O letter and then you'll see the red of what you're actually painting. If you end up coloring outside the lines, you can hit the option or the Alt key, hold down and you can erase or you can just hit the undo button. Next, scroll down to the controls where it says texture, clarity, and dehaze. Press O so you can see what you're doing. You may have to press it a couple times. Now, start off with the texture and then start bringing it down. And then you go to the clarity slider and you can start bringing that down as well. This is where you need to use your best judgment because you don't want it to look all plasticky. Unless that's your style, whatever, do you boo-boo. And the last thing that I do is I grab the dehaze function and I kind of move it up and down because that can add a little bit more dimension back to what you just pretty much blurred out on the skin. That works. All right, so before and after. If it's too much, you can always bring back the clarity and the texture slider depending on how much you want to apply that effect. One final note, I suggest you make all your edits first before you do this, because if you do this at the very beginning, it's gonna look all kinds of whack once you start adding more and more effects and edits to your picture. If you like these kinds of tips and tricks and whatnot, I have this dope Lightroom mini course that you can check out. It's in the description. It's stuff just like this of what you saw, but I have the freedom to go a little bit deeper with it. So if you're interested, it's down there, whatever. But anyway, I think that that is it. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe because that's what all the cool kids are doing. Follow me on Instagram at Keyword King if you want to see all the behind the scenes and all of that jazz. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Boom! 60 seconds? You see that, Tom? Killing it, baby.